The public has been up in arms over two executive instruments by President Kufuado that alter the make and ownership of the Achimota Forest Reserve. Gazetted on April 19, 2022, the cessation of Forest Reserve Instruments 2022 EI-144 excludes portions of the land from the Forest Reserve, while the Achimota Firewood Plantation Forest Reserve Amendment 2022 EI-154 redefines the remaining parts of the reserve. This arrangement essentially reduces the size of the 1,183.6 acre forest reserve land by about 30% since since 361 acres have been leased to the original owners of the land, the old family. The move has been construed by critics as a land grabbing scheme by government officials. How does the Minister for Land and Natural Resource, Samuel Abijinapo, try to dumb down the issues and to bring clarity to the matter? the more complex it gets. In an emergency press conference Tuesday, May 17, the minister dismissed all claims of land sale, assuring the government is committed to protecting the forest reserve. A Chimacha forest has not been sold. It's not been compromised. It will not be sold. It remains as it is. We will continue to reforest the Chimacha forest. And God willing, we intend to develop the Chimacha forest into a true forest reserve, which will serve Accra and the people of Ghana. The historical context for the development as recounted by the minister is as follows. Thus, the government of the then Gold Coast in 1921 acquired a 479 hectare land from the old family, which was later in 1930 used as a forest reserve. That the old family, in a series of petitions to successive governments, later requested for portions of the land of which over 90 acres was approved and granted the family. That though the land was granted the family, the Owls and the Sablisees could not develop the land because it was still classified as a forest reserve. That some 227.84 acres of the forest reserve was leased to a private company in 2016 by the John Muhammad led government for the construction of an ecotourism park. These, according to the minister, necessitated the two executive instruments and nothing more. But the minority in parliament will not take any of that. They maintain the move as a threat to ecological value of the reserve and are demanding an immediate revocation of the EI. A statement signed by the minority leader Haruna Idrisu reads in parts, quote, The president should, as a matter of urgency, take a second look at EI-144 and revoke it as soon as possible. This will negatively affect the carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere in Ghana's capital city, unquote. Tamale North MP Al Hassan Suhini reiterated the position of the minority. This is a government that also every year commits so much money to greening Ghana project without the assurance that the trees that they even plant yearly will grow to provide the cover that the Achimota forest you know, presently provides. And yet it is willing to uh, sacrifice the Achimota forest in the manner that it is seeking to do. Some civil society organizations, including Occupy Ghana and Arocha Ghana, have resisted the move, saying it sets a bad precedent. The O's, who have become famous in the wake of the issue, say they have not yet taken possession of the 361 acres of land and that they have suffered grave historical injustice on the matter. The principal elders of the family had this to say in a statement. Despite the resistance and criticisms, the government says it has plans to transform the remaining reserve into the likes of High Park of London and Central Park of New York, where Ghanaians can go and enjoy the beauty of nature and forest reserve as it happens in other parts of the world. Those grand plans have not stopped the intense public debate and the sense that this is another wrong step by governments.